somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Back in that belly. here we go. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Randy Gregory in there to drop him. And it'll be a loss of about eight. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to... And it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Alouzier with a pick. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So possession changes hands on the final play of the first quarter. 3-0 is our score. We're back to Arlington in just a moment. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Hot. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Throw left side complete. It's Shepard. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal forward pass. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, Detroit! the guys Detroit! who just gave up that play. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that one falls incomplete. A 50-50 ball, a little dangerous, could have been picked. Now it's third down. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, it really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Steps away to his left. And this is going to be incomplete. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20 yard line on second and 10. Back to throw now on second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And it's third down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. A very solid gain of 27. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. He'll look to throw. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Brown. 
Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty. And now out come the Giants. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. He'll look to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now back to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going quick. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Randy Gregory in there to drop him the seventh time tonight. He's gone down. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick, and it's third down. And it's up to the deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, I'm going to say... And here comes the Giants' offense back out onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down field incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Detroit! Detroit! And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Flushed out right. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 39. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and ten. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. And that's when he's got to be happy to have that. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Rolling to his left. The catch is made. Benny Fowler. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. David Irving with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. They'll set up a throw. Eluding the pressure right. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. 
I'd love to know what he's saying in the huddle now to his guys up front because it's been a steady stream of pressure on him this entire game. That time, able to avoid the sack, but he's got to talk to his offensive line and say, guys, just a couple seconds extra, please. And that is incomplete. New York set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure. There goes Sterling Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Gain of 21 yards. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. And complete into the hands of Fowler. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. He got 29 yards that time. Now a play fake here on first down. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Jeff Heath. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. And the Giants ready to come out now. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want? And my goodness, another interception. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation? Looking forward to this. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Cowboys, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they'll drop to 0-2. And, and they'll look to regroup next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.